Welcome to Zarin Tech on 15 Steps to Setting Up SAP Cloud Connector. Learn how to set up SAP Cloud Connector in 15 easy steps. Follow this comprehensive guide to ensure your connection is secure, stable and reliable. The SAP Cloud Connector is a critical component when connecting your cloud applications with your on-premise resources. It allows you to extend your corporate network into the cloud securely. In this presentation, I will walk you through the key steps involved in setting up the SAP Cloud Connector. Adopting cloud computing offers many benefits for organizations, including improved efficiency, productivity, reliability and security. The SAP Cloud Connector ensures you can take full advantage of these benefits by enabling seamless integration between your cloud apps and on-premise systems. The SAP Cloud Connector provides the most reliable and secure way to connect your cloud apps with your on-premise resources without exposing your internal systems to the public internet. Its optimized architecture provides better performance compared to VPNs and direct connections. The first step is to download the SAP Cloud Connector software. You'll need a valid SAP login and the latest Java version installed. Go to the SAP website to download the correct version for your operating system. Run the installer and follow the on-screen prompts to complete the installation. You can choose to install the Cloud Connector locally on your machine or on a remote server. Configure the installation settings such as directory, platform and language before proceeding. Complete the installation by following the prompts and entering required info. Before configuring network settings, understand your network topology to decide how to set up the Cloud Connector. Specify the IP address, port, and protocol for connecting to your on-premise domain. Test the connection to ensure it is working properly. If your organization uses a proxy server, configure the proxy hostname, port, username and password in the Cloud Connector settings. Test the internet connection through the proxy to validate that it is working correctly. Secure Sockets Layer Encryption ensures your Cloud Connector connection is secure. Import the SSL certificate and specify your preferred SSL protocol and cipher suite. Test the SSL connection with a ping to check it is operational. The internal domain routes traffic between your cloud apps and on-premise systems. Specify your internal domain name, port and protocol. Verify it correctly resolves to your on-premise resources by testing connectivity. Set up administration by entering user credentials and configuring notifications and logging. Create sub-accounts for different teams or apps. Regularly maintain the connector by checking for updates and monitoring logs. Create technical users by specifying usernames, emails and passwords. Manage users through the GUI by adding, modifying or deleting as needed. Follow security best practices like using strong passwords. Use the GUI to specify authorized users and assign roles and permissions. This ensures only approved users can access cloud and on-premise resources. Test access control by validating only authorized users can connect. Properly mapping cloud resources to on-premise endpoints optimizes performance. Use the GUI to map cloud and on-premise resources by specifying endpoints, protocols and ports. Test the connection to ensure proper mapping. Configure application endpoints, protocols, URLs and routing rules through the GUI test the application flow and monitor performance metrics like response time to ensure optimal operation. Testing the cloud connector connection is critical to ensure smooth operation. Use the GUI to run a connectivity test and review results to identify any errors needing troubleshooting. High availability ensures your cloud apps are always accessible. Configure a load balancer with backend cloud connector servers. Test failover to validate high availability is working properly. Secure your cloud connector by restricting firewall access and verifying SSL certificates. This protects your resources from unauthorized access and data breaches. Manage certificates by monitoring expiration dates and renewing as needed. Check cloud connector logs and troubleshoot any connection issues to ensure availability. Regularly review logs and metrics to monitor performance and identify issues. Troubleshoot common problems like connectivity issues and configuration errors by consulting SAP docs. Follow best practices like creating a setup checklist, testing regularly, and monitoring continuously to ensure smooth cloud connector operation. Following this guide will ensure you successfully set up your SAP cloud connector. You can now take advantage of cloud computing benefits. Make sure to monitor and maintain the connector regularly. Thank you for your time. Don't hesitate to contact us via our website, email, or phone number on the slide for more information on SAP. We offer implementation services, customization, training, and support.